What's up, YouTube world? This task for life. Mr. Knowledge. So I'm gonna kick out some knowledge to y'all today. You know, there's a lot of people ask me, man, how do black people get so many hops? Like, you know, jump so high. And so it can be so creative in the air at the same time. And you know, it's it's, it's not every black person, man, you know, got, got super hops and can jump high as hell. Um, you know, white people can do it too also. You know, I've seen, I've seen people, I've seen a lot of white people with some hops and be very creative in the air. And, you know, I've seen a lot of black people can jump like damn near, like I said, just the back, the top of the backboard, hella high. And that's, that's kind of, that's damn near crazy, man. I remember I jumped so damn high. I seen stars when I came down. Like, I I really jumped hella high. I don't know how I did it, but I sky like hella fucking high, man. I literally seen stars when I came down, man. It was scary because it'd be that high and not to have your footing on the ground, like it could be very dangerous, man, coming down, man, you know, but but you know, that's how it is. So this is how this is why a lot of black people have hops. A lot of people say, you know, it's from our genes from, you know, coming from Africa, our genes from Africa and stuff, from chasing animals and you know, all this type of stuff, man, jumping over fences, running from cops and stuff like that, man, you know. All that stuff, man. All that stuff is kind of help, man. This is this goes way back to when our ancestors came to 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 America and stuff like that, and and they pushed everybody out to the you know to like these um, apartment buildings, you know, these high high complexes mostly and stuff like stuff in New York and as you see on TV and all over, man. You know, they they, they sent a lot of black people to in their own communities and. And so how we got our hearts was that they don't know is when we when they was little kids, they used to run up all these downstairs every single day. Every day. Not thinking about what is gonna how it's gonna affect your body or or the positive things about it as a little kid rumping down these stairs. Like you five, six years old rumping down these stairs constantly every single day, not thinking about it's a workout. Now thinking about you jumping high, none of that. It's like it's just a continuous workout. Every single day you're doing this thing with your backpack on, with your Tim's on. You know what I'm saying? People on your back, you're not even thinking about it. Like rumping down these stairs every single day as a little kid. And as you're getting older, you're not knowing that straightening your legs up. You know what I'm saying? Like you empowering your legs. In that running motion, that jumping motion, you know what I'm saying. So, the workout is the best workout you can do is not think about you working out. It's to continue to do stuff and not thinking you working out. It's to train your brain to not thinking you working out. You know what I'm saying? Like when I work out, I zone out, but my body is constantly going, and I could be doing this for like an hour or two to zoned out rather than watching some on video, listening to music. Whatever it is, my body is zoned out, so it's not paying attention to me actually working out. So it's not telling my brain I'm working out. Cause when you tell your brain you're working out, you get tired. You know what I'm saying? You get tired and you want to stop and you want to, you know, do all this other stuff. But if you trick your brain to not thinking you're working out, you can go a lot harder, a lot longer on your body. So that's what that was when the kids were younger, man. They were just constantly working out, man. Like. You know, from the and when you grew up in inner cities, man, like you, like a lot of people know that we run up a lot of these stairs every day. We playing jumping, we doing jumping jacks, man. Like we playing, we playing double dutch. Like boys just playing that shit too, man. I used to play double dutch with my cousins, man. They be calling you out, come get in the double dutch, see what you can do, see what you can do. And that's you know you bopping around on a, on a the double dutch, man. You flipping your feet, you know what I'm saying? Like all that shit helps show lateral movement when you playing football, wrestling basketball all that shit helps you as you get older so if you're constantly doing this every day all day till you get 14 15 years old you're gonna be jumping out the gym you're gonna be going back and forth hella fast man you're gonna be you be wondering how you got it everybody says it's natural when that's the reason why your body is the way it was like because all the stuff you was doing as a kid you didn't even know you was training you didn't even know you working your body out you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why we was, that's just why black people jump so high because when we got thrown in these inner cities, 
we was working out, I didn't even know we was working out. And that's the best workout, not even knowing you working out. So for, for all you want to know, man, why black people got their hops, man, those who don't work out, like those who just got natural abilities of jumping, like that's the reason why, because from our descendants, from our relatives, man, it has passed down them genes. That's the reason why. Like people always wonder why, like Dr. J and all them dudes from New York and all that shit was Dr. J, Will, all them dudes came from the same area in the high projects, like right up down the stairs every single day with their Tims on, with their friends, like not even paying attention to they're actually working out. So if you got kids, man, if you want to work them out, man, tell them, have them a reason to go up and down them stairs every day. Every single day, just make, tell them, go get something, bring it back to you. Just have them up and down the stairs, man. Make them do make them do jumping jacks. Make them do double dutch, man. All that shit helps you as you get older as a kid. Don't make it a workout. Make it a game. But not even paying attention to it. That's how you get your kids better at whatever sport they want to play. That's how you get them better, man. It's a trick they brain to not think it's a, a workout, but it's just a natural ability. When they get older, then you make it to a workout. They work on certain skills. But as little kids, it's, all you want to do is straighten their body, man. That's all you want to do is straighten their body back up. That's all you want to do is straighten their legs, um, get their legs used to being, going lateral movement, jumping, all this type of stuff, man. You know, so, you know, if you train them as a kid, as they get older, man, their body, they body become used to it and become natural. You become so athletic, you even know how you hell you got athletic. You just got naturally athletic. They call it a natural gift when actually you're just working out and even though you was working out. So that's why, I, that's why a lot of black people got hops, man, because missing knowledge, peace.